Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about pin delay and a z-axis delay that's now available inside the AllCAD PCB Designer Professional License. This came out in, in Hotfix 48 of 17.2. Um, it's been around in Allegro PCB Designer as well for a while and, and allows you to effectively calculate um, the thickness of the PCB, so through a vial or a pin, um, when you're doing things like um, differential pair checks and propagation delay checks. Uh, you also have the ability to do pin delay and what that does is that calculates the, the distance from the die to the pin. Um, so with high speed design rules now, um, you want to make sure that you include every single length of copper uh, when you're doing delay. Um, and you can use kind of a 2D field solver in combination with your stack up to calculate precise propagation and z-axis delay. Um, so if we start off with constraint manager, what we'll do is we'll look at a, uh, we'll go to the, the net routing and the relative propagation delay list. And we'll just look at a match group, bike lane zero, if we just analyze this, you can see that this is meeting all of our constraints. Um, so what we'll do is we'll now simulate effectively what would happen if a, a pin delay was changed. So sometimes the, the chip manufacturer will update these pin delay values, especially if it's in a prototype development. And, and this allows you to bring this kind of pin delay information in. So we'll go to the import menu, more, and then pin delay. We can then browse for our pin delay file. Let me just bring that onto the same monitor so you can see that. So if I look, for all files now I've got a pin delay file here so we'll just select that file I'm then going to select the device that I want to import it to and then we'll import that pin delay so once we've done that we'll just close this off and then we'll go back to constraint manager and you can see now these pin delay information has been added into this relative propagation delay, delay worksheet so obviously pin 1 is the first part of the pin pair u10 pin 2 is the second part of the pin pair so that gives me the pin delay values, um, but you can see here from, from the yellow indication, uh, the DRC mode isn't enabled yet. So if we go to an analyze analysis modes, go onto the electrical workbook, there's options here for pin delay and obviously the Z axis, which is the thickness through the PCB. So we'll just enable both of those uh, and hit apply. And you'll now see effectively my, my constraint manager rules. I'm now my relative propagation delay. I'm now not meeting my constraints based on these added pin delay values. So what we can do is we can then go into the design itself um, and we can either add or remove delay depending on the requirements. So if we just start the delay tune command in, in the AllCAD. So obviously if I start to add delay here, I'm at plus already. So we need to actually reduce delay here. So let's just uh, invoke the slide command and maybe just take this down. So that's now meeting the constraint. Um, this one here, that's meeting the constraint now. Um, we'll actually use the delay tune command here just to remove this delay and then we'll add some delay in again. So we're meeting the constraint there and then finally we've got this one here so we'll just add some delay here. That's good, no DRC errors, back to constraint manager. I'm good to go and I can continue with my work. 